Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owen, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owen, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone, hope you're good. You just joined us. We were having a chat about old school books. We took Famous Five, Secret Seven. Was there a Secret Secret Six? No. Or no, did they jump six? Five and seven. There was a couple of mystery books. All Enid Blyton. All were. smugglers. <laughs> yeah, lots <laughs> of smugglers. Smugglers on the board. Cove. There was a lot, a lot of that about. But yeah, we were talk, talking about some old books. And yeah, what's your favourite books from childhood? We're talking about bits and pieces like that. We were just talking about it, and uh, yeah, there's a few random ones have coming up. Like, it was the old Willy Wonka versus the new Willy Wonka was kind of the what oh, spurred no, it off, it's gotta be old. and it's got to be the old one for for, old for me too. too. But I guess if you if you've only ever seen the new one, then maybe they'd see the old one and they'd be like, oh, you know, why's uncle? What was his uncle's? What was his grand? Oh, gram, grandpa, grandpa Joe. Joe. Grandpa yeah. Joe, yeah. Yeah, that was conspiracy theory. yeah the conspiracy theory that you know it's funny how we got out of bed but yeah, yeah. where we had the ticket <laughs> wasn't it but yeah uh, we are welcome home if you haven't joined us the first time join us for Tonic Live it's um, Wednesday at 4pm uh, we do sort of a, a make or we talk about something that we're excited about or we look back at some recent products we've got and fill in some gaps for content wise for you for things that you may be missing so Candy Tower we've had there's a bit of chat saying oh, you know people are asking for things uh, how to construct it or maybe another tutorial on how to do it there's a PDF out there now for you, so you'll be able to, if you go on the website in the download section, you'll be able to download a written instructions of how to do it. But Alison's going to give you some visual instructions now, aren't you? I so uh, we're going to go through that. There's some deals on the website. So uh, Wednesday, so every Wednesday at Tonic Studios, we give you some great deals on dyes. And dyes are one of the things that we do best. We do a lot of, uh, we do a lot of cool tools and uh, embellishments and all that, all the kind of fun stuff, papers. Um, lots and lots of cool stuff, but every Wednesday we dedicate it to dyes, and then on the weekend we talk about Nouveau and Craft Perfect and your papers and all your your glittery and sparkly things. And so we Wednesday is dyes, and and today it was more it was a box theme, so it was like kind of box sets in a way. It was like you had this, the candy tower, you had other kaleidoscopes or boxes, lots of kaleidoscopes there, cool stuff. You had some sentiments to go along with them, so to to add to these. Um, and some, if you've got part yeah. of the kaleidoscopes, but you're missing part of them. Go and have a look because we don't have a lot of the kaleidoscopes in stock anymore. No. But there's a lid on this sides in this bundle. Um, and it's a bargain. It really is a bargain. Even if you've got one or two of them, it may still be worth your while having a little look. Yeah. Because they may extend what you've got. And then, that's it. If you've joined the you know, you joined Tonic a little it's the first time joining us, or you'll find out about Tonic. Kaleidoscope's probably about this time last year were yeah. It was all anyone was using. Yeah. It was just like basically that's all anyone was making. Was cut. So if you are looking for a lovely box which can be decorated in so many different cool ways, that's one to that's one to look at for you. But yeah, there's uh, there's uh, you know loads of bits and pieces still out there. Uh, the Candy Tower, which is the most, the most recent launch uh, on Craft, probably about thirty days ago. <clears throat> that's like selling quick today. So if you are looking at that at this price, it's going to go back to RRP. Uh, about midnight, like a pumpkin, um, like Cinderella. <laughs> all of these gone. deals go back to, to the normal price. So Cinderella deals on the Wednesday uh, website. So Ali's going to take it away and show you how this is constructed. I am. Any questions that you have for me um, about the offers which are on and that kind of stuff, just leave it in the comments and I'll try and go through them today as we talk. There's mystery bundles as well. So every month as well. So as long on the Wednesdays, um, what every week, yeah. But, what did I say? Yeah, well, they are every month too. <laughs> there you go, Daniel. There you go. So uh, yeah, there is four. So uh, we have four a month. Uh, mystery uh, bags full of dyes. So uh, a mixture of sort of smaller end dyes and bits of pieces that we have. Sort of the the end of their the run with tonic and and they've sort of the, the ones we've got left. But we've only got like a certain the like ones we retire. Yeah, We're retiring dyes. So. What we do is we get a mixture of those, and some of these are ones which people have been searching and looking for, and they can't believe their luck when the, when the, the sort of stuff arrives. So um, it's all, some of them are in a corner in the warehouse yeah, that and, hasn't been looked at for a long and, time, and that's so and that's more than market. anything you could get. So it's, it's things which maybe you know they haven't had the updated photography to show them on the on the website as such. So instead, we think, oh, we'll put them as a surprise bundle for you, and you can get it all together. No, none of the items are repeated week by week as well. So if you buy 
this mystery bundle and you buy the next mystery bundle and so on, you're not going to get double it. All right. So yeah, that, that's, that's how that works. But you get the value wise, you're talking over a hundred pounds RRP uh, on the dies uh, in each one, whether that be dollars or pounds, it's both. And it's 25 in the UK. So UK and Europe in pounds or it's $30 in the USA. So that's your mystery bundle and loads of people are loving that. That's a, like, mm. that's a big thing on its own, but regardless of things every week now. So um, yeah, but we'll talk about Candy Towers today. Um, what are the Candy Towers? What are they about? These are the Candy Towers, but they're not just for candy. If you're going to pop candy in, you've got a little drawer at the front that opens and dispenses your candy as you require. But you don't have to put that drawer in. I haven't put the drawer in this one and it's become a little lantern. So I popped some battery operated tea lights in. Uh, and not tea lights, these are not. These are halogen lights, fairy lights, anything like that. These are all on wire, so they will fit the shape. And then your lid fits on top. This one, our Sarah made this one, and I think it's such a little ingenious idea. She's popped a light in the top. So inside here, hang on now, I gotta figure which one is the, the first one to open. Hang on, bear with me. It's that one. Right. If I go which one is there? in there and open them gently. Do you, do you have any samples of the kaleidoscope someone's asking as well? Um I'll work on that while I you do this. I don't have any here at the moment. There's a little light inside. She's popped a little shelf just inside. I'll tell you now, as I'm making the lid, I will tell you where to put the shelf and how big to make it. Then your little light sits inside there and then you pop it together. Now, I, will, I won't put that one together yet because I will tell you how to do the lid as we go along. So this is your die set as it comes to you. Looks a pretty humongous die set. You will need an A4 machine for it. Um, I've had a little measure and it's a little bit too big for your small machines. So this is your die. And I'll show you the bits as we go along. But what I would say to you is maybe print off the PDF, which is your instructions in written form, and then you can see exactly where you're going. So your first die you're gonna use, oh, I know what I haven't got, is a machine. Is this die. I've got one. Now. It's right, thank you. Um, this is your sides for the box. Then you're going to grab the square die here, which is your base. So I've cut those. I suppose off. you'll be needing Thanks. plates as well. I would, I'm afraid. I'm a very needy person. <laughs> I suppose. Let me, let me move some of my bits here. You've got me moving out of the way of the camera. And then I can pop it over here then. I'm going to bring it by here so I can reach. There we go. I only have little arms here, as um, you can tell by the turn back on my cuffs. <laughs> Jasmine asking, uh, any news on the tangerine? Um, it's going to be early early next year, and I know we've been saying that since August, uh, like this summer. But yes, yeah, just we want to get it right, but it's not quite where we want it yet. So uh, yeah, we're looking at yeah, early 2020. But if you are interested and want to become like first come, first serve, uh, put your name down on the email list. So if you go on the website, tangerine is there. But just go on it and put leave your email address and we'll get in touch with you as soon as it's out and you can be first to know when it's back. Okay, so you've got a strange little die. It cuts a square in the middle and it cuts two slits on the side. So this is what is going to make your mechanism. This is where your mechanism is going to sit. So take your die, line it up. You're lining it up. You've got chamfered sides on this die. They line with the crease lines on your die cut so you're popping it just above the crease line on the bottom and hold that in place so a little bit of tape there so um, Debbie asked about the kaleidoscope do you know of any new panels and stuff for the kaleidoscope we haven't got any new ones no, no I haven't seen any no. any like coming through the office yet no. but um, I can always mention it but I know a lot of people love the like she said, the versatility of them. They were, that's why, I think that's why they were so popular. When they, they were. Yes. Oh, they were versatile. I mean, gosh, we went from 
<laughs> teeny tiny little yeah. boxes There's so much. to absolutely huge boxes. <laughs> so this in front of me is your naked box. There we are, there's my cutting done. This is your naked box and this is what we're going to create. I've changed a few colours so that you can see where the colours are going. So, are we doing top down or side down? Yeah. What's the easiest one to do? Yeah. Okay. So there we go. That's what? the shape it creates. Oh, I said side on. But side on? Okay. Uh, will, will they be able to see the measurement like, as what they need? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll hold it up. There you go. Yeah. So there's our little window cut. So then we're going to stick the sides together. I've taped this just for speed, but I always recommend that you use um, a glue because it gives longevity to your project. Uh, Kathy asking, have we got any samples of the kaleidoscope to show? Um, yeah, but she says, oh, there's bound, there'll be loads on YouTube. If you look at the kaleidoscope, there'll be loads of us making them on, on YouTube. But if you look on the website underneath that product, um, so the kaleidoscope lid and insert, there's a few samples in there showing you what, what it's all about. So it can be kind of like a drum, like a like a bit like a biscuit barrel sort of shape, but with um, it's like you've got to just look at it. You don't need me to describe it for you. There's one up <laughs> in the office, um, but it's not with the lid that's being sold. So yeah. I don't know whether you want to grab that one. So we're going to glue those two together, and then we're going to pop our base in. Now I like to put a base on the inside and the outside. The reason being, it makes a studio and it also gives um, a coverage for all your, your tabs and things. I don't like to see the tabs showing, so I'm just going to pop little bits of tape. I've done most of my taping. It'll take me ages now to get all the, the, um, the red tape off it. I see, like shouting out, oh, I sound as if I've got a cold. I think I've got a bit of a bad chest, but... I watched the football last night. I went to watch the football in um, in Cardiff. Like Wales qualify for the European competition, and they don't usually, you know, they've only done it once in the past like fifty years. So there was a lot of like singing and a lot of hoil there. Was yeah, it wasn't. You're just singing the anthem and all that, all that good stuff. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do then? I haven't folded my score lines, which is not very good to me. Fold all your score lines before you start. It makes life easier. And your base ones. All these score lines, you don't need to do anything with it. The die does all this for you. There we are. So there's my score lines done. So I've taken one of the squares. There's only one big square. And this is from there. As you know, you'll see all the markings now on your dies. So this one now, if I turn it like that, I'm going to try and do it back to front. So I'm going to pop that into the back. We're just going to leave one side open, and that's the side we're going to work from. Oh, come on now. I press it down. I almost feel as though I'm in a puppet theatre here now, and I'm looking over the top. So push it all together. There we are. That's your three sides all done and dusted. There we go. So this side then I will close afterwards. Next on we're going to do the mechanism. We fold that up as well before we go any further. Sharon said she did one of those ancestry kits and her ancestors are from Wales. I ah. knew it, Sharon. I knew it. I knew those good ideas that you come up are. with. Could, it could only be Welsh that you, <laughs> your ancestry is from. There we are. There's our starter, anyway. So your next bit now is your bit inside. So if I open this, there's a little bit right inside there. I'm hoping you can see it's all in cream, but I've cut it all in colours this time. So you can see what I'm doing. It's, it's all to stop this mechanism jamming. And that's the reason it's there. So what are the next dies we need? We need this one, which almost looks like one of our girls made a latte. Or a beer. Out of it. A beer, yes. Could be a beer. 
I haven't. I bought. I don't. Been to I didn't have any beers. Either. I didn't have. I saw a lot of other people drinking uh, beers. So. And then we've got a small rectangle. Then, so we're going to cut two of these, two beers, and a small rectangle. So I have my two beers ready cut, and I've taped them. But again, like I say, I would glue them. And my rectangle. What colour did I do my rectangle? Oh, I don't think I've cut a rectangle. Yes, I have. It's purple. What other colour would it be? In that? So there's my rectangle. Like I say, I'm doing it all different colours, hopefully, so you can see exactly where everything is going. Hold them upside down. So your beer, your beer head is on the bottom. And you're going to fold. Tall cotton reel as well. One of those yes. sewing machine cotton reels. Yes, you could tell your mother's as well. Yes, and they're no going to go would say that. that way. So you've got a little little tab on the top, big tab on the bottom. Uh, Justine asking, oh, will the price be the same for the tangerine? Yeah, it's likely to be the same, uh, the same price as, as it was. Well, when we do get it in, we will have it on clear pay as well. So um, you can split the price. Yeah, that's our like feature, so you can split the price of if you do a big order. Yeah, let's get this off. So a little rectangle. It's the same width as this. So you're going to use the largest of the sides. And um, we're just going to pop that on the bottom. And do the same with the other side. Oh, I'm glad you had a good catch up with your cousin Catherine as well. I hope oh, you that's lovely. She was telling me she was going to make a make nice meal of fruit, I think it was for, for her as well. Uh, yeah, it's good. To, uh, I'm glad you got the, nice the hang to hang out with friends definitely, and family. Definitely good. Um, um, yeah. this is Sue Foots with us. Hey, Sue. Hello. Kim as well. Good afternoon, Kim. Hope you're all right, Kim. Um, Hope June... David had a good birthday. Yeah, I saw him pop up one thing. I hadn't seen him on for ages. So, yeah, glad he's okay. Um, did Julie say she made four of these? Did you do what, what sort of colours did you do? Uh, oh, yeah. Julie, did you do any themes or did you go did you stick to? So, that is our mechanism to go inside. So, you can pop a little bit of glue on the base. You can pop tape as well if you want to. But uh, as I say, I quite like, I'm quite partial to a bit of glue. And then this then is going to line up. You want to have the opening side in front of your, your little window. So we're going to pop this inside. I hope then I'm going to let you see it. If I fold that back, then you've got more chance to see it. So in that's going, and it's lining right up with the window. Ooh, hang on, I will turn in a round mouth for you. Come on, glue stick, quicker than I want you to. There we are. So inside, there's the tab, and there is your little, your little sides, okay? So we're going to take off the tab along the top and this is what will hold it in place. The sticky doesn't want to come off at all. It must be super sticky. Too sticky. Too sticky. Too sticky. Um, Too sticky so yeah, me. no set date on the tangerines, but yeah, early 2020 is, is what our engineer says. Hang on, bear with me with the sticky. I ain't having no joy with it. I thought I'd be quicker with sticky. I'd probably be quicker with glue. Mint creams one, a toffee one, and two Halloweens. Nice. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a nice one. Did you go? You went mint cream colours, yeah? And you went toffee colours, I, I get. There we are. Right, a little bit more glue because I've pulled it out. And I will show you again exactly where I am with it. There we are. Line it up. So it's in front of your window and then you're going to press your tab along the side is just press it along the top this one then i'm going to close this side so we're going to take the tape off the bottom wrap it around close the base and then take the tape on the side you can either leave this little panel. You need one panel open. It doesn't matter whether it's at the back or the side. 
doesn't matter which one you leave as long as you leave one Jasmine, is it possible to put some tea bags in the candy tower? Of course, that's a um, good Why not? I don't know whether they're big enough for the for tea bags. That would be what, my tower? only. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know whether it would hold. Hang on, I've moved. If you have this. more of the, the pyramid ones, they'd be. The pyramid? I'm, I think she's thinking of the ones that come in paper. Oh, am I thinking you know, too the, old school? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think you were thinking of old school ones. Yeah, they would go in there easily. If you this just pick it, so that, that would be nice to make like a coffee, a nice coffee tea one. There we are. Uh, thank that's you for showing fun. the cuts in different colours, you'll make it easy to follow. There we go. Well, that's what I'm loving that as well. Yeah, right. Sean says it as well. So, inside now, you can see exactly where the colours are. Pink is on the side. There we are. It's like a little fireplace as well. Isn't it? it is, it is. So that's all stuck in place. Then we're going to take this funny little shape one that almost looks like it's, it looks like a front bumper to me for a car. Yeah, it does. That a one. Or a bat. Yeah. Fold your tabs as always. I've popped a little bit of tape along the bottom tab. And I will show you where that needs to go now. If I can get the tape off. This is why I never used to. Next time, remind me not to say <coughs> oh, we're, we're doing we're doing all right. We're doing like the you know, we baby steps, isn't it? Well, hi. Right, fold your tabs in. Now these need to go on the outside. They will go as you're doing it. They need to go on the outside. Let me open this up and then you can see it again. No, I yeah, I can. If I show you here, it would have been easier to show you in the first place. These are going, get it the right way, yeah. These are going outside your pink, your pink tabs. And the reason it goes outside, there we are. Okay, so when you open in there now, it's outside the pink. You can see that. The reason it goes like that is because if it didn't, it would catch on your sweets. So you're going to tuck in then the little tab at the front and glue that in place. So that is your mechanism all in place. Your sweets then sit in the middle and nothing interferes with the mechanism. There we are. Stick that back together again. And that is your base for your candy tower. The only thing then you're going to need on the front, I've stuck all this tape on the bottom, so I'm going to use it. Put another cover on the base. Oh gosh, do you know what? I'm going to glue it. By the super sticky. <laughs> it's going to go double up. I know, there we are. So all your workings are covered over. There we are, but don't, uh, don't stick it onto sticky tape. You're going to cut then a little door. This little door has got the little lip on it. So you're going to cut one of those and you're going to stick this over the little door that's there. But make sure you position it. So I'm going to put glue on this now because I'm, I'm getting really fed up with tape. Make sure this door is on top of that fold. If it's not on top of the fold, it's going to interfere with it opening. So I'm going to leave that dry, and by the time I finished, then I'll be able to show you how it opens. I'm going to give it a little press inside. There we are. It's like a magic wand, and as if by magic, the shopkeeper appears. So there's my starting point of my base. I'm going to pop that over there. Then we're going to start the lid. So let's get rid of all this tape. Is that That's it? it. I think, like, if yeah, if you you may be new to three D projects, you might have some people who've never tried our dimensions range. That's it. The dies, all you need, like, in order to put these together, is the dies that you have in that pack, right? So I haven't used anything else no. other than tape. A bit and the, the paper, yeah, and the paper card paper, stock which you provide obviously. yourself. So, yeah, that's and yeah, don't. I think it's easy to when, once we've made you know a few of these to think how 
the what you know the wow effect of, of of these actually made up cool because you made that you know like you mm. put that together you you made this this construction this thing and it feels sturdy like the lid that you'll come on to now it just slides lovely into like into it and it it's does. like it's a it's a sturdiness to it like it's not a flimsy like if you made a box in school or something like that with some paper this yeah. is not that like you, no, you, these, it's these not. are I mean, these are sturdy these are objects you know that's it you know other than the lid popping off they are very sturdy and in a lovely you know and that's and cardstock is lovely in that way as well because you can customize it and change your color combos to whatever and maybe you don't want it to be like ceramic you want it to have this paper exactly. and, and do all these cool effects and make them mixed media and make them distress and do all that cool stuff so you're not going to be able to make them out of ceramic unless you're a potter unless you're a potter <laughs> but you can make these exactly. exactly and that's it so yeah it's uh yeah well worth trying them out if you haven't before i'll do a pink one first because it may be easier for you to see but i've cut them in different colors you can see exactly where each bit goes so you're going to fold them first you've got three crease lines in the middle fold your middle crease line and that will be your mountain fold and then the other two are valley folds. So there's, that's how it's going to look when you're done. All right. And you're going to do exactly the same with all three. So mountain in the middle, valleys on the sides. Mm. And they're all going to be the same. Uh, I'm asking, what's everyone having for tea today? I'm having beef stew and dumplings. I think I'm, I'm having beef stew as well. What? I'm having What's going on? Why is that? Again. I thought you were going to say beef stew too. <laughs> I actually have beef stew for lunch. What's going on? Why is it, it's why is cold. it happening? It's cold. You want stew? I don't know. It's cold. It's sweeping the nation. Right then. So I'm going to take the tape off the bottom. So this is the one with the straight edge. And we're going to do that on all of these. There we go. Look my way across. <laughs> Yeah, I am a bit like a little bit snotty, but not not no, it's more chest. Prawn salads. Is, 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 I don't know why that's funny, <laughs> Sue, but it just is. <laughs> You're having a pause. Prawn salad for tea. Wow. <laughs> it sounds nice. I love prawns. Do you, you need to start. Does it run off the investor? Do you have a prawn cocktail? Do you have? Oh, I love anything. I don't have a set set menu. Right, so we're just gonna. Stick them all together now. Oh gosh, I got all these little bits of red now with the static. Right, you're going to line them up just before the fold line. Don't go over that fold line because it's not going to work properly. So we go in just in front, make sure that fold is still there. And you're going to repeat that with each one. Like I say, I've done it in alternate colours again so you can see what I'm doing and where I'm going. So there's your first four, and then you're just going to bring them around and close the last one flat on your counter, making sure you've lined them all up. Um, yeah, and Jasmine said it, it's always hard decision to you know to make you know uh, based on like whether these descend to people as well. Like these, these are more a gift object once you've made yes, them up than, than a, something you're going to send to the post. But that, that's what cards are kind of for, me. So, so yeah, these are a. But you know, if you've got someone that's gift. hard to buy for, and a box of chocolates doesn't seem enough. Yeah, exactly. This would seem enough. It seems much more than a box of chocolates. Mm. So this is where we're at now, and it's not. It looks like a little bit of a jester's hat to me. If you wanted to make Sarah's box here, I would pop in your little bit of card at this point because it's going to rest on this ledge that you've got here. Um, the size of this would need to be, um, I'm just taking this from roughly from Sarah's and see where we go. What is that? That's two inches. Possibly make it about two and a half inch square. So you're looking at around about six and a half centimeters, and then you would pop that in. So your next bit now is take the next bit of tape off. Here it goes again. I like to do these in rounds rather than stick all one side together and then do the neck. One, you know, one strip. I like to go round the three times. 
So here we go. So just make sure that you're all neat and tidy with your corners. And I know it's like Sue seafood said that she, she's saying love seafood, but if she's trying to lose weight, so only having eight hundred calories a day and you're struggling. That's not oh, easy. Oh gosh, it's hard. Sue. Me and Dan were talking about it the other day in the, in the supermarket. It's not. It's not easy. But uh, after you've beaten the first, you know, there's yeah, all progress in it. Little steps. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, everyone loving Sarah, like uh, Sarah's box on you. So it's yeah, Sarah, be, and Sarah's Absolutely watching as well. Stunning. So yeah. The, yeah, it really, really is much. I always like it when they do the maritime sort of cool I love stuff. The maritime. It's nice, isn't it? There's panels as well in here that will build up the sides. You've got little strips as well that will go up to make like a lighthouse. These little panels here will go up the side. So I'm just working my way around. I'm on my last one now. So I do apologise that it's taken me absolutely eons. So that's my next layer. So like I say, your little layer will be in there now. And now we're going to go on the last layer. So you make sure your point is nice and sharp with this. Give it a little push so that your point there is nice and sharp. Because that means that it's going to keep a nice shape. Just working around to the next one, and I'm having no joy with this day. Uh, Raquel's with us on YouTube. Hey, Raquel, hope Hello. you're all right in New York. Hello. Is it cold over there? Because it's usually cold. I think cold it is. That, yeah, it always does yeah. seem very cold in here. I remember my friend going to New York just before Christmas, and she nearly froze over there. Well, in the fairy tale of New York video, they look quite cold. Don't they, they do. They do. <laughs> I like that one. It's not, it's not big in New York, is it, that one? It's not like a... No. It's not an American well, song, Well, it's not big. It? It's nearly been banned. Yeah, for... They shouldn't ban it, though. No. No. It's just, a, you know... It's an icon. It is. It's iconic. There we are. This is the last one now. So, again, make sure your corners are right. Push the corners together. And that is your top. So, how do we put the top together? I've left Sarah so I can show you another one to go together. Let's get rid of all these bits because they do in my head in. Right. I hold one and then go around in a circle but putting them underneath. So my next one goes underneath. Go around again, putting it underneath. And then your last one again, underneath the first ones. And that's what gives you your little cross on the top. Shall I do that again for you? I'll go through with Sarah's now. So hold your first, put the next one underneath. Go with the next one. Make sure it kind of it kind of hooks onto itself as well. Next one underneath. And your last one then holds them all in place. And this one goes underneath the three. And that one there. Oops. Hang on. We've got one that's gone awry here, I think. I think this one has been taken apart a few times. There's your little top. So that is how we do these. And that then will sit on top Ooh. of your box. There we are. And then you your door's dried and you've got your little door inside to do your panels. Just do your panels to put your sweets in. Little drawbridge and you've got to feed yourself there we are. a castle or something little like that as well. Yes. You could. Turrets. That's what it makes me, that's what makes me think. Turrets for a castle. Turrets for a castle. Do a central bit and you could have a draw. You could. Have your drawbridge. You could. You could build your walls in between, couldn't you? <laughs> I like that, yeah. You have fair uh, castle like walls. That. These are there full of sweets on Christmas Day. Oh my goodness, the little boys Candy are going to love it. Candy castle, something yes. like that. Yes. <laughs> Copyright Owen Roberts, two thousand and nineteen. Or you could do four lighthouses. You could cliffs do four. In between. You could do cliffs in oh. Cliffs are your walls going in between. <laughs> now you're talking. Now, I know. I did, know. We, I'm on fire. We, we had the like when we do. Um, 
things which lend themselves more or like have been obvious to that is more like when we did the village like the the toy shop yeah and all those like and people and we made like <laughs> it was like a little scene and everything the i can't even remember I know. <laughs> the, oh, um, our crafters are mad though like they just do this stuff right Tudor town. Town, town, I think it was a Tudor town once. The only thing I haven't said is about decorating these. Everything is there in your set again. They are verso dies, which means you can cut them into your cardstock, which is what I've done with this one. This is a bit of a different die. It comes in two halves. Hang on, let's get these off here. Yeah. So we have. Yeah. We've got one there, and we've got one there. So these two will either fit together that way, and you have a bit of a pointy bottom and top, or they'll go that way, and they're a perfect match. So that can be used either way. This one, I did, how did I do this one? I think I did this one with the pointy edge. I thought it looked a little bit... Um, you know, African or... Yeah, it is a bit. It is a bit. But that, that was what the colours led me to when I was making that one. Almost a little bit well, jungly. Yeah, that, like, that's it. Like, you have... And I'm just seeing, like, so the comments, you, you're sort of reminding me more about this and I think I remember from the launch itself. It's, a, it's like, what you do, you can tie in. So she said... Because I think she was... Yeah, Sufa said, oh, Fisherman's Friends, you can put in this one. Yes. And that's it. Tie in the type of sweet or whatever you've got in there the colour combos that you go with on there or the the theme. I'm trying to think of some other like, all I could think of was, was white mice and I was like, you're making it look oh, like a white mice thing. But that would look horrible, like you wouldn't want to look like a mouse's nest. So no. scrap that one. But what about something what like like if you had strawberries, like Power Wars is like so <gasps> strawberries, didn't she? So, so you yes. can make a strawberry one and you can make like a garden. I got one for the light doves. What? Shrimps. Shrimp. Oh. Shrimps. Let's finish that. Cut that, Dan. <laughs> Cut that. Cut that. I think we'd all go home now. And we're not going to top that. We're not going to top that. Bananas for that one. Eh? Bananas. Shrimp. Bananas. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> now we're talking. Now. I'm going through my husband's sweet list. You're going to sweet list. Because I should have picked up on it earlier. Because someone said mint humbugs earlier. I can't remember. Yes. Stripey like, ones for mint humbugs. So you can create the mint colours on the thing. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, I was let you lead let the sweet guide the tower. But you could do like the strawberries now. You can get strawberry back in papers and things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just use them with that. Maybe do a green. Tailor it, yeah. Tailor a green it too. Candy pink. Tower. You could do like you know if you have bonbons, you could do them pink like yeah. in there. You could do. I think someone there's got to be some other funny ones that you can you can do. Peanuts, sweet peanuts. For what? What's the one? Jung Circus. Jungle. Oh, I thought we were going to do the circus. Do you know, like the, the circus elephants one, ones? Yes. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Oh, why didn't you think of this? It's like almost like we missed this at launch. I know. We needed to think this was better. This is better than anything we came up with at the time. Your top panels that you've got then, you've either got the swirly one there, or you have got, where am I looking? There's a stripey one. No, that's the striped one. But there is one that goes in a little swirl as well that looks like your sweets. But you've got all your layers here. You've got your different panels here to go on the top. You've got panels that go around the top of your box here. One says tasty. You've got yummy. You've got, what was that one? I'm trying to read backwards now and I'm not doing very well. Can't remember what that one was. What does it say? Oh, something sweet. And they are all included. So if you look on the back there. There's a few more exactly saying what you get. <laughs> so you can you can go to town. I mean, I went to town when I made yeah, yeah. these. I absolutely loved it. I had to use every single primary colour I could think of when I was making this one. Just, like, just in right, yeah. Start posting on Facebook Sweet Tower tw uh, Twins, right? Like where you just, you match the sweet to it. I always just thought this is, uh, and I was, I was like, you could do a money box. You could do it like a money box. Yes. Have the c chocolate coins. Make it a bit like a vault or a bank. There you go. You can have that yeah, one you there. You glue the bottom then in place, see, don't know. You can glue no, the bottom. No, from the top, I would just have like, I would put like a... You could cut a little slit up by Yeah, I cut a slit in here and I'd, I'd Glue put that the in. top and bottom. So yeah. you can't get or the make a piggy bank one or something like that. But like yeah, the papers, like Ali's saying, you could get like fried egg papers or something and have fried egg ones. Yeah. 
There's two men. There's loads it's of these brilliant, that you can print I don't why I, did. I just I didn't make that connection until like <laughs> I always let I let the candy tower guide where I was going with it. It should have been like you let the sweet guide your candy tower. Yeah. That's how that's how to do. Yeah, we should do we gotta do a post for that. Beehive, honey sweets. Did we have a beehive in this one? I can't think. I bet you they made the beat the thing for this and then they put any sweets in. Yeah. I bet I bet now we got it. We got it rolling, yeah. Whatever. Now. It's whatever gonna sweep the, the nation this is. <laughs> whatever your favourite sweet is, that's where you're going. See if you be. can crowbar that's in a candy be. tower to do that. Any any what's your favourite sweets, Dan? It's gotta be something of a novelty so I can we can oh, crow yeah. it so I can crowbar in a candy uh, tower. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Like lemon drops. I don't know well are. you could do it lemon. Sherbet lemons. Sherbet lemons, yeah. We do I I do like a bright yellow, obviously. Uh, one for that. Yeah. So yeah, I, anything, you any sweet. Put a little leaf off the top, then. So <laughs> like a lemon. You could. Look like a lemon. They could be and, green, couldn't they? Yeah. And you could. Oh, they, green. Yeah, they could be green. They are your leaves. You could douse like it that. with like lemon. Essential oils. Essential lemon, essential oils. So you make the thing yeah. smell like. <gasps> Put your essential oil. Mind saying that it may stain your your card. That's the only. What if thing you put in? If you put in like a. A dried lemon, like dried lemon something. You know something like know. your People candles? You know how you little tea lights and you get your metal cases? Yeah. Put a little cotton wool ball into that with a little bit of essential oil and that will sit inside <laughs> yeah. your lid. Yeah. So you've got the aroma as you're opening <laughs> it. Yeah. You could even put a little bit of um, cling film over the top of it and just make a few holes in it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the you smell could, comes out, idea. but none of the oil comes out then. That's it. Candy Tower Twins, okay. Justine coined it. We're gonna we'll we'll fig we'll figure it out. I love you, Justine. I think yeah, like, these are good ones. Like I'm, there's there's so much out there that we will do like that. It's just weird how we're talking this out. Yeah, all right. So that is Candy Tower. If you wanna make your own Candy Tower twin, uh, then you can do it. Um, yeah, and but there's loads of other products on the kaleidoscopes. If you just, you know, you want to get involved in the kaleidoscopes, have a look on the products because on the products themselves, there is inspiration to show you what you make. So if you don't know what a kaleidoscope is, that's the best place to look. You can you can YouTube us and find us making videos and showing them off like years back. I know what else is on there. There's sentiments so on there. Them, Sweet, it? cool, and awesome. Sweet, cool, and awesome. Yeah, there is. Sweet. Exactly. Yeah, you you, know, you can include them. This is what. Because we, cause we did a this we did a sew in sort of I'm sure we did one on live with the sew, sew in, in box. would be brilliant because the top in there is your your um, pin cushion. Yeah, you could do that, and you could have. I was just thinking then you could do the rolls of of cotton. Yes, the ones like you used to the play one with. they used to play with in the store. <laughs> <laughs> we are so influenced by our childhood. It's like untrue, isn't it? Like I, I just see those, I see those cotton. Yeah, but you just put the cotton reels in yeah. the back. Yeah, they don't have to be sweet. And sweets. then you go down the road and you move them more. It doesn't that yet? Because <laughs> yeah. like, get it in, get on the buttons then. Just play with the buttons on the push them in. You had a misspent youth, lovely. I did. <laughs> That's my mum's fault, that. It's just sitting in there for like what felt like four hours. And it probably was. James played with the sheds in B&Q. Yeah, but that's, that's the kind of... Uh, yeah, but I would have preferred, like, preferred that. In the fabric shops, you can go underneath the... Fa in the fabric shop, it's just the same because you... They have like these big rollers, don't they? And they're just going underneath them and they just sort of sit in there. It's not particularly safe. But they're talking. I remember talking to this guy and it's just going on and on and on. It feels like forever. But you don't really have a boredom. It's like a boredom threshold back then. It's like, it's not, it's not what it was. It's like now I couldn't do that. I just, but back then I didn't have much choice, did I? You just get on. Because you'll be somewhere like in Betos or somewhere like that, like a fabric shop, like miles oh, out of the way, no. like just. I suppose then is where you are. I mean, now, you know, iPads and iPhones and whatnot make things go a bit quicker for children. Oh, it was just a Nintendo then, wasn't it? They do, yeah. Not I'm a Nintendo. I'm a, I'm a, what do you call it? Game Boy. Oh, your Game Boy, Game yeah. Boy. That, would, that would have got me through. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I remember going there. Now that, like, I'm not saying that. Game I'd sit in the car like, sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like, even like old. Game Gear. <laughs> Batteries, they get like five minutes worth. Off you go. Off you go. Um, so, like, look at this. Watch it on YouTube. I'd like to order some items, but they're all out of stock at the moment. Oh. Seems I missed out. I don't think my laptop's working a minute. I think the battery has gone on that, even. But well, we should wrap this up now, Amy, and then we can go check on that. And then we can check it. Because I know we can talk about what possible things could go inside the <laughs> But, uh, if you watched us this far, you've already seen the demo, so you're not you're not bothered about this. Yeah, just send us a little message in. 
Milancio. And we love a look. Oh, there's um. Where's the PDF? Is it in files at the top of the page? Yeah, it'd be in downloads. If you go on the downloads. UK, um, tonicitrusstudios.co.uk, you'll find it in the um, in the download section. There's also like if you've got the um, the uh, festive dies, there's a festive sort of outfits for like the ones that you've got in the summer, the the um, the garden party ones. So they're there too. Um, let me have a look. I just want to check now, Raquel, before you go. They're showing us. They're showing us in stock, Raquel. I don't know where where we're missing here on this. Hopefully, the link's right and, and it's going to the right place. But if you go onto the front of the page, click the banner. They should be still in. If they're not, we'll have a look now. Anyway, yeah, try to. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the US. We'll have a look now. We'll figure it out for you. Right. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning. It's nice to have a chat with you all, though, because we we, are, we haven't good chat we haven't had a good chat, have we? It's like we've been like oh. we've missed you. We have, and that's where I like. Yeah, so forgive us our rambles about sweets and stuff. It's nice to nice to catch up with you all, and uh, yeah, just check that out tomorrow as well. We have got the uh, brand new sort of uh, the floating, I think floating frames, like floating is, is the final name that, that is on it. And it's yeah, so layman dice, you can create this with loads of cool depth on your projects. Worth checking out with Jody. It's on, um, I believe it's starting at ten, and then you've got a show at four as well. So that's on creating craft. They're very versatile, sexy dice. They are, they are. They're, very, they're, they're, very they're quite versatile. different. There's, you know, more than meets the eye. Like, but that's what exactly. they they are, you, and you're going to see that tomorrow. And then Friday in the USA, so if you are there, um, it's Susan's uh, Garden Club, the launch of her dies that you would have seen uh, in the UK probably about start of the month to twenty days ago. But they're getting their US launch now, available on the US site as well. So, yep, yeah, that's it from us. Um, yeah, have a great uh, rest of your evening. Enjoy yourself. Stay warm. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for the daily. But then, yeah, I think we'll, we'll try and do a craft battle on Friday, something like that. Because we haven't oh. done one in ages. No, you haven't. I know. We did say so. We did say something. And we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> we're gonna we we're gonna we're gonna have to at just blow your mind. At some point in time, we did say that we were gonna do one before we die. So I know. So we so need so to oh. do. We we need to get. Do you guys need to tell me something? No, no that's no. It's, it's just. One long crack. It's, really <laughs> it's just one long crack. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll do, we'll do that Friday. But yeah, lovely to speak to you all. We will catch you uh, tomorrow for the daily. But then we'll see you Friday, right? So yeah, enjoy all the deals, all the discounts on the store. We'll see you soon. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.